He is known for being the head of Plato's Academy at Florence during the Renaissance. He is recognized for his translations of Plato's works and other Neoplatonic texts into Latin. He is Marsilio Ficino. In the vibrant city of Florence during the 15th century, a group of intellectuals led by the influential Cosimo de' Medici found themselves captivated by the teachings of George Gemistos Plethon, a Neoplatonic philosopher. Plethon's profound discourses on Plato and the mystical Alexandrian scholars left a lasting impression on the humanists of Florence, who even bestowed upon him the title of the Second Plato. It was during this time that a young scholar named Marsilio Ficino crossed paths with Plethon's disciple, John R. Gerippolis, who was lecturing on Greek language and literature in Florence. Recognizing the immense potential of Ficino, Cosimo decided to revive Plato's academy and appointed Ficino as its head. In 1462, Cosimo generously provided Ficino with a collection of Greek manuscripts containing the works of Plato. This marked the beginning of Ficino's monumental task of translating the entire corpus of Plato's writings into Latin, a labor of love that would shape the course of Western philosophy. Ficino's passion for knowledge extended beyond Plato. He also translated the Hermetica, a collection of ancient Greek documents discovered by Leonardo de Pistoia, and the works of other prominent Neoplatonists such as Porphyry, Iamblichus, and Plotinus. Ficino's dedication to his craft attracted numerous students, including Niccolò Valori and Francesco Catani de Diaxido. In fact, Ficino considered Diaxido to be his rightful successor as the head of the Florentine Platonic Academy, an institution that nurtured the minds of aspiring philosophers and scholars. Ficino's legacy endured through the ages, and his impact on Renaissance philosophy cannot be overstated. His translation efforts brought the profound wisdom of Plato and other ancient philosophers to a wider audience, shaping the intellectual landscape of his time and beyond. His teachings and the Florentine Platonic Academy became a beacon of knowledge, inspiring generations to explore the interconnectedness of art, philosophy, and spirituality. Marsilio Ficino, the devoted scholar and visionary, left an indelible mark on the world of philosophy and continues to be celebrated as one of the great minds of the Renaissance. Marsilio Ficino, a renowned philosopher and priest, was a man of many talents and interests. Initially trained as a physician, he eventually found his calling in the priesthood, becoming a priest in 1473. It was during this time that Ficino's philosophical journey truly began. In 1474, Ficino completed two significant works, Theologia Platonica de Immortalitate Anime, a treatise on the immortality of the soul, and De Christiana Religioni, a profound exploration of religions and a defense of Christianity. These works showcased Ficino's deep understanding of theology and his unwavering dedication to his faith. However, Ficino's thirst for knowledge extended beyond theology. He also developed an interest in astrology, a field that would later land him in trouble with the Catholic Church. In the rush of enthusiasm for ancient knowledge, Ficino delved into the arts of astrology and faced accusations of heresy before Pope Innocent VIII in 1489. Fortunately, he was eventually acquitted of these charges, allowing him to continue his philosophical pursuits. Ficino's writings during this period shed light on his remarkable insights. In 1492, he proclaimed, one metaphor for this integrated, aliveness, is Ficino's astrology. He believed that astrology provided a unique lens through which to understand the interplay between human behavior and its consequences. Ficino's, Book of Life, outlined a comprehensive list of factors that influenced a person's destiny, highlighting the intricate connections between choices and their outcomes. Moreover, Ficino's works extended beyond philosophy and theology. His letters, spanning from 1474 to 1494, survive to this day and have been published, offering a glimpse into his intellectual exchanges and scholarly pursuits. Additionally, his book, De Amore, written in 1484, explored the complexities of love, further showcasing Ficino's diverse range of interests. In conclusion, Marsilio Ficino's career in philosophical thought encompassed theology, astrology, and a deep understanding of the human soul. Despite facing challenges from the Catholic Church, Ficino's unwavering dedication to his beliefs and his pursuit of knowledge allowed him to leave a lasting impact. His insights into astrology and its relation to human behavior continue to provide valuable lessons for navigating daily life. In the bustling city of Florence during the Renaissance, Marsilio Ficino's name echoed through the streets. Born into a family of esteemed physicians, Ficino was destined for greatness in the realm of medicine. His father, Diotifici, served as the personal doctor to none other than Cosimo de Medici, the renowned patron of the arts and sciences. Following in his father's footsteps, Ficino delved deep into the world of medicine, publishing treatises in both Latin and Italian. 
His works, such as Consiglio contro la pestilenza and De Vita Libri Trace, captured the attention of Renaissance physicians, including the legendary Paracelsus. Ficino's ideas on the unity of the microcosmos and macrocosmos resonated deeply with his contemporaries, as he explored the intricate connections between the human body and the wider universe. Ficino's medical works, infused with astrological and alchemical concepts, became immensely popular during his time. However, this popularity did not come without its challenges. The inclusion of instructions on healthful living in a world teeming with demons and spirits raised suspicions of heresy. Ficino found himself under scrutiny, as his unorthodox approach to medicine pushed the boundaries of traditional belief systems. Yet, Ficino's philosophy went beyond mere medical practices. He believed in the interconnectedness of the physical and spiritual realms, viewing the human body as a vessel for both somatic and psychological manifestations. His teachings offered a holistic approach to understanding and treating diseases, acknowledging the profound influence of the celestial bodies and alchemical forces on human well-being. Today, Ficino's medical philosophy continues to hold relevance in our daily lives. In a world where we often prioritize the physical over the spiritual, Ficino reminds us of the inherent unity between the two. His teachings prompt us to consider the impact of our environment, both seen and unseen, on our overall health and well-being. By embracing a more holistic approach to medicine, we can strive for balance and harmony, aligning ourselves with the cosmic forces that surround us. As we reflect on Marsilio Ficino's contributions, we are reminded of his words, health is not just the absence of disease, but a state of harmonious existence. Through his medical works, Ficino invites us to explore the profound connections between our bodies, the universe, and the unseen forces that shape our lives. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.